Shawnee, I want to come back to you. Um, Costas Simakas, who we know had a tough time last season with regards to COVID and uh, injury and all that sort of stuff. But he, Andy Robertson, unfortunately, gets injured in, in pre-season. And, you know, he we know he's going to step in. We know he's going to play left back. And um, he steps in yesterday. And, and I thought he had a, a decent game, Shawnee. Because he's looked good in pre-season, but this is a whole different ball game, Premier League football and the intensity. But I think he done all right. Yeah, um, I think it was the perfect backup left back performance, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, it's a perfect second choice step in deputy to Robertson performance. That's exactly what he was signed to do. I thought he was very effective in what he done. And look, he's had a tough year last year, and look. He could probably look for a way out because he came from the champions in Greece as Olympia because I think he was player of the year there before he left. So he would have expected to be playing at least last year. And he never got the chance due to COVID with an injury and just the state of our back four at times last year where Klopp wasn't actually able to trust him. But I thought he was very good yesterday, very effective in what he'd done. He a couple of moments where he was maybe a little bit shaky and indecisive. And, but yeah. He, he gets a slap in the face off Milner and it's all good, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, I thought I thought he was very good. I think he showed exactly what he showed in pre-season. The best thing for me, though, Simicas is he's very similar to Robinson, so we don't need to set, change system to accommodate him. We can literally play a natural game with him in the side because he's very similar to Robinson, although he's not at the same quality. He's good at doing the same things. He's good at getting in behind. He's good at providing uh, attacking threat down the left-hand side. He's well able to whip a ball. He whips a, a really, really good ball in in the in the, in the first half and nearly ends up as a goal. I think Mane gets on the end of it. So, look, if Simicast is in for the first four or five Premier League games, I would have absolutely no quarrels. Um, he's put me on rest. That he's not another Moreno. He is capable. And I'm delighted that we have him now. I'm just... Uh, similar to Naby, I hope he can stay fit this year and really prove his worth. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Grizz, uh, quote here from Klopp with regards to Costa Simicas. He says, very good, very good. I would say for at least 80 minutes, very good. Played good, was involved in all the offensive stuff, defended well. Then obviously someone pulled the plug a little bit. That's a normal after long, after lo- that long a period. So it was a really good debut from the start in an away game. He played re- a really good game. That's fair, isn't it? Yeah, it's fair, but it's but it's all also expected, in my opinion, mm-hmm. um, to 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 do what he was doing for ninety minutes. A lot of nervous energy. You've got to remember, he was trying to replicate Andrew Robertson, and it's not easy. We know Andrew Robertson's not real. Not many people can do what Andrew Robertson does for ninety plus minutes sometimes. Um, but I tell you what, this guy was, and again. Shout out to our recruitment team, guys, our analysis and analytics teams to find the carbon copy or style of player, the attributes of a Robertson. Um, obviously, we're going to struggle to find someone for, for Trent's uh, understudy, to be a Trent's understudy. Um, you know, we just spoke about once in a generation type player for, for there. But, um, and I'm going to do a hot take and a big shout as well. Uh, Oh, you, couldn't let, you couldn't let Shani have his day on his own. Go on. No, I I actually think Simicas has more going forward than Andrew Robertson, um, and the reason why I say that is because of his dribbling ability. Conroy's Scottish very, fume is absolutely of, ready to blow here. Of course, of course, of course, he's going to defend his brave heart. <laughs> we know that. But but um, but Andrew Robertson for sure is 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 far more the complete fullback and we know that um that's not the that's not the hot that's not the hot take part the hot take part is going forward i think simicas has more to his game i think his delivery and i think his uh, ability to d- dribble robertson you know his right foot is is literally non-existent this fella um has a, has a very strong right foot as well and, and a couple of times I've seen him during the preseason as well. He can take on a man and dribbles past players and his delivery is immaculate. His defensive side will come. 
it will absolutely come. His stamina will be improved. His concentration, powers of concentration, where he nearly gives the ball away and, and everyone bollocks him and, and Milner slaps him up and all sorts. But it's, it's all part and parcel of the game. Um, the rest of his game will come. But I genuinely think he's, he's an absolute gem. He's an absolute gem and a, and a snip at, what, 12 million it was or something? We see him standing over free kicks as well, which is another dimension to his game. Like, you see him standing... He's not afraid to have a pop. You'll see him standing around them with, with Trent. So he obviously has that in his locker. You know what I mean? And he was taking corners and set pieces. Grace probably confidence there. levels. Shawnee, confidence levels. Big his confidence is, And you need that to be a Liverpool player. You yeah. know, he's, he, do you remember we had Albert, Alberto Moreno who, who was the opposite, shied away from challenges, shied yeah. away from making the big calls and decisions and in, in attacking moves where he could have. He had the physical attribute to bomb on or whatever, but he was not brave enough or not. This guy is a fighter. You can see he's an absolute street. Very much again, like in the mold of Andrew Robertson, but obviously not as polished, you know, not, not, not in the same class here as a defender. But the attributes going forward is absolutely what Klopp's looking for. Again, a perfect backup in that, like, mm. I don't know how people are. When we're not City, we, we can't stockpile 60 million the left backs on our bench. So, like Grace says, the profile, a, a, a left back cover where all of the qualities that Andrew Robertson has to be able to come in there, who's got Champions League experience, who's got title winning experience in Greece. It's great business and it's just a shame and he never got to feature more next year. But again, he's getting his chance now. And again, just a great player to have around your squad. He is a great player to have around your squad. And that's what you're probably looking at a right back. And that's why you have the concerns with regards to Nico Williams um, covering Trent. And in my opinion, Joe Gomez covering Trent. Conor, I'm going to let you in here because I know you're fuming. Um, no, I'm not, is, I'm not fuming. Chris has called um, out the Scottish captain as not as good it's as not, It's not that. It's not that. See, because I'm Scottish, <laughs> I've, I've analysed Andrew Robertson's game for a long time and the pet hate is when people say it's a fairy tale because that's the biggest myth going. The guy has earned his stripes to get where he's got and he's, if anything, he's done more in his career than a lot of professionals ever dream of because they've not had to rise like he has. Queen's Park, I'm not going to go through it, but under 17, literally working at the Scottish National Stadium part-time. We've heard about it hundreds of times. The thing with me with Andrew Robertson is see if you watch Trent, maybe even when we won the league as well, Trent's not a cross merchant, but Trent sometimes has just put balls in quite a lot during games. Whereas for me, I always, I always think why Andy Robertson's stats are so high for chances created is because I do think he's more calculated. He doesn't actually cross that often during a game. He tries to find the pass, and that's why I think he's more measured. What I would say to the dribbling thing is I would agree because obviously in the Scottish national team, I'd say probably the best left back there now for dribbling is Tierney because Tierney beats his man more often than not. But the thing is with Robertson is... We maintain possession and he's he's looking for the, you know, like Shemekas, he's 1-2 in the preseason. That's what Robertson's looking for. He's either going to come inside or he's looking for the 1-2 to get in so he can cross it. But he doesn't just put it in for the sake. And I feel like there's a lot of really good attacking left-backs in the world, Shemekas being one of them. But I, I agree they're similar, Grez, but I actually think there's quite a few who are probably, I wouldn't say dribbling, like beating men as Robos. He's not bad at it. But there's there's better. For me, I just think he's more measured. And that's why he, he always seems to get quite high in the chances created. But the one thing I would say is, remember when Andy Robertson started against Crystal Palace? He had like a, it was a great debut, you know, running to challenge everything. That's not really what happened after that. He got dropped from Milner because he wasn't he wasn't defending the half spaces correctly. So I feel like if Shimikas wants to get to that level, his intelligence to defend and has to get to the level because for me, Robertson does not get enough credit defensively. He nice. barely gets beat down his side ever and you never hear about it. It's like, I heard last season, listen, Luke Shaw was terrific last season. It's not a comparison. But and, I, and Robertson wasn't better, but it just for me it just it just is a given how good he is defensively. And I, I don't think that's really fair. Um, but yeah, Grizz, I, I get what you're saying. I would say dribbling wise, Shimikas offers is a little bit different because he will take the man on. Whereas I think Robo's just a bit more measured. But it's great to have them. It's great to have them in the team as well. And and we're playing a back four. We're not even playing a back five, and we're still have, have full backs as you say with Trent and, and Robo or Shimikas who get up there. Right back wise, we should have kept Klein. I said that, but that's that was just my opinion on that. We let we let one go. We 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 Klein, um, but yeah, overall, guys, I don't think it's a crazy take, mate. I feel like um, Shemikas is. I watched him for Olympiacos and he looked good. And if we could get him, as as Shawnee says, to stay fit for the season. But when it comes to him versus Robbo, I'm always going to say Robbo because just for the chances created, 
is actually crazy how he always managed to stay up at that level. 